Okay, hopefully you've watched the team presentations, and now you're watching the short presentation video. Uh, this is about our second type of presentation, um, and uh, again, there are two types in this class. I've included this slide here to kind of distinguish the differences between the two. Hopefully this is becoming clearer. Uh, this short presentation is pertaining to your fact value policy. And in this video, I will discuss the ways in which to do this and how to respond to your classmates. So, uh, again, here's this uh, slide that if I had more time, I'd have to make this up. I, I try and make this a little bit more appealing. But uh, this is essentially the breakdown of the items in purple uh, pertain to your short presentation. Uh, well, here's a shorter version of that. This is just exclusively the dates for the short presentations and what's maybe the most important thing is to know that the due date has been pushed back. Not from It's no longer today. You can submit it on Monday. If you want to turn it in early, you're free to do so, but uh, the official due date is now Monday. You have the weekend to finish this. Uh, Monday night, to be exact. And by then, you should also post your two-minute summation uh, of this policy paper and your classmates will have Tuesday and Wednesday to watch your video and others videos and ask questions and then you have Thursday and next Friday which is the 15th uh, to uh, respond to those questions and so let's go deeper into this uh, so again Monday you're going to uh, post your paper on an assignment spot for the claim of policy but you're also going to post your your video in a discussion board called shorts and so uh, that will get the process started uh, but some of you might ask well what do we do in this two minute process this slide might look familiar I would try and cover as many of these bubbles as possible in my two minute time let me break it down even further with there we go all right um, uh, so if you want to just list them, there are essentially nine things that you want to do. You want to state your name, your first and last name. Introduce your topic in the form of, say, smoking is my topic. My policy is I want to ban the sale of tobacco and tobacco-related products. Right? You know, so there's a slight distinction between number two and number three. Number four, you want to maybe find your most glaring facts, facts as in plural or singular, right, that help us understand how deep the problem is, such as smoking cuts off 13 years um, off of one's life, right, that's why this is a serious problem, this is why uh, you're pushing forth your policy. Uh, you want to share some of the benefits of your policy, and in the process, you'll be hinting at your values, right, uh, uh, by banning tobacco, we're going to uh, have healthier lungs, right? You know, that's a benefit. And that hints at my values that I might value a healthy lifestyle. Um, number six, your details of implementation. And we've talked a little bit about this. I think there's a separate video about that as well. You want to hint at some of those. So if you have like eight or nine things, just focus on maybe three or four, the most important ones because of the time and number seven this is what we focused on this week uh, we had five additional office hours where we talked about the counter argument many of you came by and we talked about um, the two different types challenging counter arguments and common counter arguments here I would just focus on the common counter arguments and then refute that relatively quickly and end it now um, I would focus on the common because of the time you want to try and keep this under two minutes and then people may ask you the challenging ones and you can just respond to that uh, uh, doing a question and answer session session so uh, try and practice this one through nine it might take you a couple tries to get it under 120 but uh, definitely try that okay so now your classmates are going to put up the video and you have to ask questions uh, here's a list of things to kind of consider uh, you have lots of classmates. You only have to ask questions of three of them. And um, 
I want you to type this out in the discussion board. And when you do so, if you could put your the person who you're asking a question to's name in there, that would be uh, useful. So say, for example, uh, you are Victor and you are asking uh, Dominic a question. Victor would say, uh, Victor would actually type out Dominic. Why do you want to, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Um, and most importantly, I want you to spread the wealth. I don't want everyone to focus their questions on one student. I want you to ask a variety of presenters questions. So if you look at a discussion board, uh, at a, um, a line of questions, and you see that uh, this question, this person already has five questions to answer, well, don't give them a sixth. Ask someone else, all right? If you're asking a series of good questions, again, here's another chance that you can end, uh, you can earn extra credit. And finally, just a note, and this sort of applies to the team presentation as well, that questions end with question marks. Don't make a statement. Don't make a comment. This is not the time for you to say, well, I totally disagree. We want you to ask questions, so take some time, think about it, and put that forth. Uh, so um, <clears throat> after your classmates have had a couple days to ask you questions, you're going to go back to the discussion board, and you're going to look at those questions, and you're going to begin to cluster them. Some of them might all... Uh, have similar answers well that just requires one response um, and so just put that there um, I would also focus on maybe the more important question that is the challenging counter arguments I would address that as well and feel free to say something like this is outside the scope of my research my topic didn't go into that because sometimes we ask questions that are off topic and uh, don't feel compelled to answer things that are not related Finally, uh, you can answer the questions whichever way you like. You can type them out um, back in the discussion board, or you can post a video. If you do post a video, you have a little bit more time than two minutes, uh, but definitely try and keep it under five. And that's essentially it. So uh, if you have any questions about the short presentation, shoot me an email. Uh, again, uh, there's a team presentation video and the short presentation video. Hopefully you'll watch them both. Thank you very much. Goodbye.